So hello, my name is Ming Kwan Lok. I'm an actress, director, and writer. I was the jury member of the uh, 2023 uh, Fantasy Film Festival in Paris. And today we are glad to welcome uh, Tian Pinglin, uh, who's calling us from Taiwan. Hello, thanks for being here Hi. with us. Okay. Hi, thank you. Hi, Mi, Mi Young. Mi Kwan, thanks a lot for inviting me here. And Jen Pin Lin from Taiwan. I'm the director, writer, producer, and screen, uh, uh, cinematographer of Little Yellow Flower. And I'm truly honored to be a part of the Fantasy Film Festival. I'm grateful to have won the Best Director Prize. And I appreciate the ju jury's recognition. And now let me share a bit about my journey in the film industry. I start my journey in the film industry as a cinematographer. Later on, I decided to further my education and graduate from School of Visual Art in New York with a film degree. And now I'm both filmmaker and film educator. Nice. Congratulations, first of all, for your Best Director Award that you won in June at the Fantasy Film Festival in Paris. Um, can you tell us, please, a little bit about your movie, uh, Little Yellow Flower? Okay, uh, the film is about a man named Anand, a photo retoucher, returned to his old house filled with hunting memories. Yellow flowers on a roof of trellis attract ants, bring back painful memory of his past mistakes and conflicts with his father. And now his elder paralyzed father covered in ants trigger memory from Anand's hues. It's determined to remove the ants, mend their relationship, and bring back the beauty of the yard's yellow flowers. Let's, you know, show version of the synopsis of the yes. film. Yes, uh, thank you. The um, the relationship between the father and the son is very, very conflictual, but also super strong. And uh, well, actually, your movie made me cry. <laughs> a lot because it was so strong uh and what inspired you that story actually uh actually this film is you know is about my father oh. and me yes and it's my own experience you know five years after my paralyzed father passed away i decided to create a film that explored the ups and downs of the father and son relationship. It covered everything from conflicts and the desire of the revenge to guilt, empathy, and eventually reconciliation. Instead of the telling the story in a straightforward way, I got the idea from when I was a kid. I accidentally killed some pretty flo yellow flower while trying to get rid of the ants with bugger sp spray. My dad got really mad and, you know, beat me up badly for it. So that's the idea, you know, so combined with my paralyzed father. So I try to, you know, make some film to, you know, kind of like uh, remember him. Yes. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much for sharing. Uh, my father is uh, handicapped. So that's why maybe that story, your movie really moved me a lot. Um. And your actors, the actors, they're just amazing uh, because there's very, very few words during yes. the whole movie. Mainly, they don't speak a single word, but we can tell everything in their eyes, on their face, in their body. Did you already work with the two actors before or did you audition them? Uh, I never worked with them before. So you auditioned yes. them? Yeah, I auditioned them and I held audition for the role of the father and boy and the mother. And first I did I I first I discussed with them, you know, because it's an, it's a kind of a long dialogue film. So I tell I discussed with them the stories, background and conflicts, you know, with the actor to understand the relationship and the reason for conflict between father and son. 
since the script has only less ten lines, ten dialogues, it all it uh, relies heavily uh, the actor's body language and the facial expression, mm. along with. Uh, this is a challenge for actor use to dialogue heavy scripts, and I de determine how the emotion flow and motivation of each scene influence the character's uh, character's action. After a couple rehearsals, uh, we achieve the required emotion and visual rhythm. Yeah, it's, it's not easy, but we, you know, work out. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, and uh, about you as a director, how did you discover that you wanted to be a doc director? Um, I, it's kind of like a very natural evolution for me. I've always loved smooth and you know that's the magical in storytelling that really grabbed me as I got deeper into film worlds it, especially when I work with camera and understanding scripts I started each to tell my own stories so I guess it hit me one day that I didn't just want to capture scenes of just being the cinematographer I want to shape the story the writing feel like it's incredible to do that so it's like a painting, a picture, but with the moving parts and real emotions. So become a director, just feel like uh, the right path for me. Like finding the missing piece of a puzzle in my filmmaking journey. Yes. Uh, so are you working on any projects right now? Yes, I have some idea for my future film. And that's all about, you know, inspired by my own experience. Um, one of them will explore the early days of Taiwan's film industry, showcase, show, uh, showcasing the story of different people, both well-known and less so, as they cross paths and follow their own unique journeys through life. is a project that really means a lot to me, and I can't wait to bring it to life on the big screen. Because I spent a lot, like 30 years in the film industry, you know, so it's a lot of story to talk about. That's the, you know, the first, the, the story I really want to make it, yes. Thank you. And uh, where can our audience find your work and follow you? And now I, you know, you can find me on Facebook right now. And once the film festival circuit is over, my film might be available on some online streaming platforms. Nice. Beautiful. I will cross my fingers for all your future projects. Thank you so and, much. Uh, is there anything you would, um, a last word, anything you would like to add? And I really thank you a lot, you know, uh, Fantasy Film Festival, give me this chance and give me the award and thank you the journey to know my film. And I really appreciate and feel grateful, really. Thank you to you for this is a gift you do to the world with your movies. Thank, and thank you so I, much. I saw also saw that you studied in Paris. So oh, this is yeah, that's uh pendant deux ans. Yeah. Ah, pendant deux ans. Yeah. Super. <laughs> so uh, that's yeah, nice yeah. that the the film festival is also in Paris, so it makes yeah. a connection. Go there. I really want to go back, you know, you know, some something happened and I have a my little girl just one year old. So and yeah, so a lot a lot of things going on. But the first of all, I really want to go there because I can go I can go to Paris again. Yeah, that's the, right. that's yeah. very, very and it's not is you know. Well, I hope you'll have many festivals uh to which you can go and Maybe, hopefully, we can uh, welcome one of your movies in the future again. Sure. Thank you so much. So you can come back to Paris and visit. Okay. <laughs> I want to go to Paris again. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for... And, um, and uh, we'll uh, see you soon. Okay. Thank you again so much. Bye.